welcome to Discard. Today I'm going to talk about a little project that I've been working on, and that's the TV side of my game room, where I get to play my games and sit down and chill out. Let's take a look. So one of the parts of my game room that you typically don't see is this other side over here. That part of my game room was mostly a workspace where I could get a bunch of items together and get them kind of staged so that I could shoot them and check them and test them. But recently we moved a queen size bed out of that room, really opening up a ton of space and it kind of sent me full of inspiration to turn it into the TV side of my game room. Now it's kind of a medium sized space and it's the perfect kind of space for a television setup and also to display some games. Now, as this room is still used for working on different DIY projects or modding Game Boys or doing all sorts of different things, I still needed to have my table. On this table is a whole bunch of different things and I still have a lot of time that I'm gonna need to put into organizing them and really making it look good and organized. But for the most part, this just gives me a space to work on DIY projects as well as kind of test out some different cartridges and different stands so that I can approve them for the show. I also use that table's underneath part to store a bunch of different things like camera equipment or items that I plan to show at a later date in the show or all sorts of different things. But as I got everything cleaned out of the room and vacuumed and cleaned up, I started organizing the room to be more of a nice comfortable room to be watching TV or to be playing games. Now we had a old Samsung HD TV that I hadn't used in a quite some time. Now we had another TV stored in here for quite some time that I wasn't really putting any use to. So I decided to use that Samsung HD TV for this space. And one other thing was that I also decided to get a TV stand off of Amazon, which I'm really happy with. It's super sleek. The only problem with this kind of stand is it's very thin and small. So putting top loading cartridge based systems inside of it is gonna be kind of a problem because you won't be able to put those cartridges in and take them out. So that's a problem I'm gonna to have to solve at another time with maybe possibly another shelf next to this or another way of displaying them. But in the end, I want it to look really cool and professional when I'm all done. Also have a Sony PVM TV in the room and this will be utilized for some of those consoles that don't have HD connections yet or it's just really hard or expensive to get those HD connections to, to connect to HDMI. And that's kind of what I'm exploring right now is different ways of getting my retro consoles connected to my HD TV and have them look really good on there. And that's been kind of difficult, but I've found many different ways and many different companies that make adapters or connections that are highly regarded so that I can play these awesome games on that television. One of the most recent ways I found of playing my Sega Genesis games on that television was the Analog Mega SG. And I have to say that that console is absolutely amazing. I feel like it's an upgraded Sega Genesis. It looks absolutely beautiful sitting in there. It's a very small console. It has a nice little weight to it, so it kind of sits there nicely. It feels super professional all the way through. And when you're looking at the screen and looking at that display, it's super vibrant. All the colors are there and the game plays fantastic without any lag. So that is a fantastic solution and I wish I had one of these for every system that exists. So I'm definitely looking for different ideas on how to connect some of your retro consoles via HDMI to an HD TV. That would be really great. If you do have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'm certainly looking for those ideas because I am building up this game room currently. As for the Sony PVM, it's a smaller television, so I'm gonna use that for some of the retro consoles I can't connect to the TV, like I said before, but I'm looking for a way to kind of display that in the game room and make it look good. I've seen some of these ways that are out there currently and they don't quite fit the bill yet. So I'm kind of working through those ideas too. The general aesthetic that I'm gonna be going for with that game room is kind of the same as this one, uh, white colored shelving and kind of a brighter setup so that everything kind of displays nicely and really pops. I already had some shelving in there for some of my games, kind of some of the overflow that comes from this room and that still needs to be organized and set up properly. It's, it's really not quite there yet, but for the most part, it's in the right spot. I love those shelves from Ikea and they're just fantastic. Some of the different things that I'm definitely planning on having in this game room and have in there right now, I'm not sure they're in the right place yet, but I have some single play retro gaming stands in there. I really love those stands and that little clip that holds those, those cartridges because it really makes those cartridges the most important thing. 
and then I can just go over and I can grab that card off there and put it in my console next to my TV and be good to go and happy. And sort of similar to those single play retro gaming stands, I have Steve's 3D Solution stands, which is another 3D printed stand that comes out of Canada. And these are a really fantastic stand too. They hold those cards at that great angle. It's all nice and tiered, and he does a really good job with those designs too. In some of the more recent videos, I talked about Fang Multimedia that makes these awesome controller stands, and they're kind of a revolving stand that you can add modules to, so you can make them taller or smaller, or hold Wiimotes, or have a place to put your headset. But these really are fantastic, and for the most part, I didn't have a great place to put this. It's kind of large, and I'm really glad that I'm doing this part of my game room now, because I can have this there and have a great way to grab my controllers off. And in a couple other recent videos, I talked about collector mount, which makes these little mounts that make it so you can put anything you want on your wall, including vinyl, CDs, DVDs, games, cartridges, Amiibo, all sorts of different things. And at the end of that video, you saw that I made this big art piece on my wall. Well, that art piece used to be above my work table and it was really nice to just kind of leave that where it was and put my TV underneath that because it made an awesome accent wall for that room. Just a really cool thing to look at, especially with the LEDs shining up on it. Another really cool looking stand that I got in the past but haven't been able to really use on my own comes from BitLounger. I've had this stand kind of put into a shelf and I really wanted to have it out there in the open so that it could be viewed by people coming into the game room. It's really cool because it's got that acrylic cover and it covers up your, your games. I decided to use it for my Super Nintendo games that I want to have there uh, to grab and play, but it really works really well. And the last thing I absolutely had to have on the wall in this game room was from DNA Dimension Designs. He makes a bunch of signs and stands and all sorts of different things out of wood, and he carved this sign for Discart and I really appreciate that. He did a fantastic job of carving this, but I really was wondering where I was gonna find a perfect spot for this. And I found a nice little piece of wall to put this on and really display it in its glory in the game room. Outside of those few things in the game room, there's not really too much to it. I've used some LEDs on the back side of the television to kind of light up the wall when it turns on. I also have a few more LEDs underneath so that it shows the consoles and I can really see those and see their awesomeness. One of the most fun things about this is just finding different ways to display items in this kind of situation. And that could be small as finding ways of displaying cords or hiding cords in this case, or it could be a different way to put stands in a room like this, or just ways of displaying those consoles. But for the most part, I'm really taking my time and kind of piecing this together. One of the most fun times I have with my collection is when I'm kind of figuring out where everything's gonna go. And I think people taking their time with that is a really important thing because just extending that fun is really awesome. It can kind of suck sometimes if you're just sitting in a pile of games on the floor and you're not sure what to do with them yet, but kind of taking your time with it and taking a few games here or there and finding a place for them is really awesome. So if you have any advice for my game room or anybody else who might be building their game room, please leave it in the comments below. All that advice is always look forward to. I'm always looking for those new ideas. If you want to help out Discart past a subscription, please check out patreon.com slash Discart. Check out all the awesome stuff you can get for $2 a month. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. But otherwise, have a great day. Click what you love. Swimming through my mind In this pool inside my head when I turn around they spill One by one upon my bed And then my room turns upside down The thoughts are falling to the ceiling from the ground And now the ceiling lamps a boat And I'm sailing in the sea of my ideas and my thoughts